Hi, the purpose of this video is to tell you about my new book, Apostolic Authority. Many people are really interested in knowing what's happening with the church. Yes, ma'am. And it's, it, it's, it's systematic. That's right. That's right. So, so this is a major issue when we're talking about authority. <coughs> this authority is misstructured, isn't it? Yes. When I was in uh, Iloilo, Philippines one time, I was preaching in this big church, but it didn't have any windows. And it was uh, up right on the main street of town in this very busy town of Iloilo. And I'm preaching about Ezra setting his heart and fastening his, his attention on, on the word of the Lord. And I'm, <clears throat> I'm getting everybody to learn to fasten your heart and learn to set your mind on something. And, <laughs> and there was this big crash outside cars screeching, a big bus collided with a couple cars out there, screaming in the street. And while I'm talking to everybody about fastening their heart, they all get up and run out the door. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm left standing there, totally alone by myself. <laughs> and, and that was the day it dawned on me. <laughs> Then you don't have any authority <laughs> unless people will yield it to you. Yeah. <laughs> because in this system of rebellion, there is no authority. Amen. And in this system of hierarchy, it's distorted authority. Yes. So, so our plea then is to find out what is authority really. Should we have any kind of authority? But the reason that the church is so impotent <coughs> is because authority is missing. Amen. Amen. The true concept Amen. of authority is missing because if we don't have exousia, if we don't have the authority, the right to do it, the right to exert, mm. then we have no dunamis. Mm. Power. Power. See, everybody's praying for power, the power of God. But if you don't have authority, there will be no power. So we wonder, why are things happening in church like we want it? Why don't we see the power of God? It's because we have not reckoned rightly with authority. So, you know, that's not a big, come on, reason to have a meeting you know if we'd had if we called this meeting uh r r miraculous money or something <laughs> you know everybody would have i mean the millions of people would have wanted to come but because we're calling it authority apostolic authority you know that's not a buzzword that a whole lot of people want to learn about but i'm telling you that if we can get this straightened out we are going to see a tremendous difference in our effectiveness in the church today Amen. it's going to be startling if we can get a hold of what it is that we've made this mistake how we've made this error